Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a fun video. I'm going to share with you 10 popular designer handbags and their more affordable alternatives. So this was a highly requested video by many of you. These alternatives are going to be well-made, high quality. I will have either seen them myself, touched and felt them, or have owned something similar from the brand. So I have personal experience and uh, they're all under $1,000. So these are definitely more affordable designer alternatives to these popular handbags. So let's get started. Okay, the first bag we're gonna talk about is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Here it is in the ever so popular monogram canvas in the MM size. This bag unfortunately now is over $2,000. $2,030 to be exact, and then well above that for any of the leather versions. I personally am not a fan of the Neverfull as I'm not really a fan of tote bags in general, but this bag in particular just doesn't work for me. However, I do understand why it's so popular. It's definitely a workhorse, it's durable, it's lightweight, it's careful, Free, and the internal capacity is very big. You can carry a lot. Here I am at the boutique last year trying them on because many of you nudged me to at least give them a try. I did have fun trying them on, although I realized they're definitely not for me. I tried them in the leather versions too, which I thought were lovely. And my favorite of the options were uh, was this version here, the Epi Leather. I felt like it was very classy, very understated. I thought it was beautiful, although a little bit heavy and quite expensive. So here is the alternative I want to offer to you. This is the Longchamp Le Pliage Tote. However, this is from their new city collection. So this is the coated canvas version. It's not their traditional nylon. It's got a little bit more substantial weight to it. It feels like epi leather. I went to go see it in person. I love that it felt really substantial. I love that it felt really durable and of course water resistant and all of that. Here is an up close video. You can see the texture in the lining. I thought it was lovely and I also love that it has a zipper closure. So here is the price difference you guys, huge difference, over $2,000 difference between these very similar totes. All right, the next bag we're talking about is also from Louis Vuitton and it is the classic Speedy. Here's the Speedy 25 in monogram canvas print that I used to own. Here I am with her. I hardly ever reached for her, so I let her go and sold her to a lovely subby, but I have to admit I do miss having this size, Speedy 25. Here it is in the bandolier version, in the Dami A bin, which is very, very hard wearing, very durable. Here is the Empreinte leather version, so a lot of different options, but here's a more affordable alternative. This is the Coach Ruby 25 satchel. It's a brand new release. I purchased it. I unboxed it. Unfortunately, if you watch that video, it was a failed unboxing only because the bag was too heavy for me. Otherwise, it's beautifully made. It's got really nice green leather with glove tan leather trim. It's got a nice crossbody strap. It's got feet on the bottom, which the Speedies do not. And you can wear it multiple different ways, so it's pretty versatile. It was coming in at over two pounds though and that's a deal breaker for me because I cannot do heavy bags but if you don't mind that look at the inside it's so pretty so this might be for you if you are okay with slightly heavier bags here is the price difference my goodness right huge huge price difference if you're looking for an alternative so I just want to say I return the coach ruby 25 satchel because it was too heavy for me i still don't have a 25 size in my collection and out of all of the bags that i have sold i think about the speedy 25 the most but for now i am trying to enjoy and appreciate these two speedies that i have the speedy bb and lambskin and then this one here which is the speedy b in the 35 size that i use for travel so i'm just trying to appreciate because really do i need three speedies probably not but by the way the coach satchel is also supposed to come out in an 18 centimeter size which is going to be very similar to this bb size um, also very similar to the speedy 20 size right it'll just be a 20 a two centimeter difference so keep an eye out for that if you're looking for something a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter and i think the price is going to be really good all right, moving on to Bottega Veneta here is the very popular mini jody bag super cute super sweet and really fresh in this green color. I get why it's popular, but it's not very versatile and it's very expensive, it's $2,250. So here is a beautiful alternative from the brand Polen. They're a Parisian brand. Many of you have been asking me to explore this brand, so I've been doing a lot of research. 
and I'm really impressed. So these bags are all handcrafted in Spain, full grained calfskin leather. Price is amazing at $320. As you can see, there's a lot of beautiful details, but very classy, very minimalist. I love this style. And lots of different colors, beautiful white color here. Also gorgeous caramel. You guys know how much I love caramel, tan colors. This is so pretty. And the fact that it comes with a strap makes it much more practical. Here it is in a blush color. It's beautiful. So definitely wanted to share this alternative. I also wanted to share with you another option. These bags are from a brand called Sinbono. They specialize in a vegan leather. So if you're into vegan leather handbags, I think this is a great option. Very affordable at about $110. I've been using this cream colored one since last summer. I love it. It's so cute. It's a little dumpling, right? Very much throwing off Bottega vibes, especially in that grass green color. And it's really easy to use with this magnetic closure and the zipper holds a lot more than you would think. And and it comes with this gold chain, so it makes it more versatile. So everything, by the way, all of the alternatives that I'm mentioning in this video will be linked down below in my description box. So you don't have to go hunting for them and they'll be easy to find down there. So definitely want to share this as an option as well. All right, next let's talk Prada belt bags. This is the nylon belt bag that goes for $1,320. Funny enough, when I was researching for this video, it was $1,290 and then it jumped to $1,320 just a few days later. So sneaky little price increase they got in there. So yeah, it's a very classic looking nylon belt bag, right? But I didn't want to spend this much on a nylon belt bag. Um, I also didn't like that it had this heavy hardware on the back. I felt like that would be uncomfortable and I wanted it to be as light as possible. All right, so this is the bag that I ultimately chose for myself. This is the nylon belt bag from Lululemon. I was so happy to find this. I did a video on this showing what fits inside and you would be surprised how much fits. A full-size water bottle fits in here, yep. It's got these mesh pockets to hold your little bits. You can see here, it holds my phone here. It's got this back pocket, right? Very secure, and you can put your cards, your cash. I use this on our recent trip to London. It was so handy. I wore it tight across my chest, like a short crossbody, and it was very comfortable. You can see there's no hardware bits, so it's light. And I love this monochrome look. Unfortunately, I think this one has been discontinued, but I think that they came out with a very, very similar version now with an extended strap. So I'll link both styles down below in my description box. So hopefully you can, you know, get your hands on one of them. $38, you guys. I keep saying it's like the best 40 bucks I've spent in a while. Yeah, highly recommend this over the Prada belt bags. The price difference is astronomical and this nylon quality is so, so good. All right, next bag we're gonna talk about is this beautiful Celine classic box bag. This is such an elegant, classy, chic, understated designer handbag, but doesn't scream designer. There's so little branding, as you can see only on the inside. This is what it looks like inside. It's like an accordion. It's so beautiful. It's so soft. It's just, I don't know, I think it's such a gorgeous bag. Uh, many of you have asked me about the durability of this box leather. I've had this now for a couple of years and you can see it's holding up really well. And by the way, I purchased this pre-loved from Fashion File and so someone owned this and maybe used this before me and look at it, it is pristine. Unfortunately, if you were to purchase this retail, this is the medium size, it would be $3,950, yeah, so almost $4,000. So I wanna give you a really nice alternative. All right, let's take a look at this beautiful APC bag. Okay, this is a French designer. You'll see a lot of these bags in Paris. So similar, look at the minimalist style. Very, very nice silhouette, just like the Celine. I think this bag is so pretty and it's about $700. I say about because it depends on colors and leather texture that you choose, but around $700, which is so much more affordable than the Celine version, right? This is the small size. Look at the inside, lots of compartments, well designed. Um, I noticed that the small size is very comparable to the Celine medium size, if you were curious. This color really caught my attention. If I didn't already own the Celine, I would go for this. I love it. It's such a rich, beautiful burgundy. Oh my gosh, you guys, somebody buy this. It's beautiful. I'll link it down below. My goodness. 
I mean, you can legit save over $3,000 and still get this beautiful bag from a French designer brand. Next, let's talk Saint Laurent. Oh my goodness. You guys have probably heard by now the buzz. Big price increase by YSL just a few days ago. This adorable Toy Lulu, which I love. It's my smushy bag, the one that my kids love because it feels like a pillow. This one was $15.90 and it went up to $18.50. So that's a pretty significant increase on this bag. I do love it. I just think that that's a lot of money for a small bag. I'm not saying it's not worth it, but I want to share with you an alternative that's much more affordable. All right, I am talking about the Tory Burch Kira Mini Bag. This bag, in my eyes, looks so similar to the YSL Toy Lulu. It is puffy. It's got that smush factor. It's got the quilting. I don't know. It just has a very similar vibe. Here's the inside. It's, you know, a small bag, but it's not tiny. It will fit all of your daily essentials. And here's what it looks like worn crossbody. I think it's super sweet. Price is amazing at $428. That's it's a, a big price difference from the YSL. And here's a gorgeous cream color for spring, summer, even winter. I think it's really lovely. Here it is on the model. I think this is a really nice option. And you guys know if you watched my favorite mom bags video recently that I am a huge Tory Burch fan. All right, the next bag we're going to talk about is from Hermes, and this is the very popular Mini Eveline bag. So this is the smallest size, it's called the TPM size of the Eveline collection. And I think this is a great everyday size for errands, just on the go. It's very casual, it's very light, it's comfortable. It comes with this strap, which is removable, and it has a snap opening here. Very simple, no compartments. This, however, retails for $1,800, which is quite a bit of money for a simple design like this. So let me show you an alternative. All right, here is the Longchamp version. I feel like this looks very similar. It's also offered in this gorgeous caramel tan color, which is similar to the Hermes gold color. As you can see, it's got the same vertical silhouette and it has that crossbody strap and it is much more affordable at $365. I think the name of this is Le Falloon. I can't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's a small zip crossbody bag and that's the beauty. It has a zipper, so it's much more secure compared to the snap closure on the Hermes. Now this is the uh, mod shot. I think it looks very classic and very similar to the Mini Eveline. Next is another very popular Hermes bag. This is the Picotin in the 18 PM size. Gorgeous gold color here, here in the black color. And I believe this retails for about $2,875 if I'm not mistaken. And here it is on the body, crook of the arm. It's like a bucket bag style, right? So I'm gonna show you some other alternatives. All right, do you guys recognize this bag? It's the beautiful Longchamp bucket bag that I featured in a previous video where I talked about five new handbags that I've been admiring all under $1,000. Well, this one is well under $1,000. Here I am trying it on. It's only $330. Can you believe it? For this gorgeous, gorgeous leather bag. It is so classy, it's so chic, it's so simple, minimalist. Uh, the only problem is I've never tried wearing a bucket bag, so that's my only hesitation. But look at the inside, it's so nice. It's all suede, it's got an internal compartment. Here it is on the model. I know, it looks so, it looks so French, it looks so chic. Uh, you can actually fit it on your shoulder too. And it comes in a lot of different colors online. You can find it in orange and yellow and red and green, but a lot of the colors have already sold out. Here it is in the classic black. I don't know if I need this in my collection or not, I'm still debating, but if you are like me and you're gonna try out a bucket bag for the first time, then maybe this $330 bag is a better way to test it versus splurging on the Hermes Picotin. Now here is another Longchamp bucket bag style. I have not had a chance to see this in person, but it also looks quite similar to the Picotin, right? It has more of a toggle closure and grained leather, so a little bit of a different vibe from the earlier Longchamp bucket bag. And this one retails for $470, also comes in a variety of different colors, so lots of options with Longchamp. Since I didn't want to butcher the French names of the Longchamp bags, I'll be sure to link both styles down below in my description box. 
All right, next is the Chanel Wallet on Chain, or better known as the Walk. Very, very popular classic piece from Chanel. Currently retails for $2,950. This is the black caviar with silver hardware. I think we are familiar with what this looks like. I've done many, many videos on this. I found an amazing alternative, so much more affordable and from a really great brand. So watch this. Hello, can we say hi to this beautiful bag here? This is the Mulberry Small Darley bag. It is so similar to the Chanel Walk. Look at the quilting, look at the beautiful leather quality, the chain strap, the turn lock, that classic postman turn lock. And then the inside, it even has the Chanel-esque burgundy lining. It's got the card slots, multiple compartments, zipper, this is very, very similar to the Chanel Walk, you guys. It's so similar. And you're getting it from Mulberry, which is a very well-established brand from England. Here on the back, there's a zippered pocket. That's bonus, isn't it? I don't know. I'm getting so excited. This is such a great bag. If you're not into the quilting, here's another version. It's got the grain leather with the gold hardware. I think this is also super, super pretty. And of course, the back also has that zippered compartment. Price is under $1,000. It is so much more affordable than the Chanel version. Version. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm getting excited because it's it's a really nice bag. I went to the Mulberry flagship store while I was in London a few weeks ago and I was really impressed with the service and the quality and the feel of all their bags. So yeah, this is such a good option. Here it is on the model. I think it looks very classic. I like how it sits very close to the body, just like the walk, and you can dress it up or dress it down. And here, so many different options and colors. So, oh my gosh, yes, this is good. All right, the last bag on my list here is the Gucci Soho Disco. Very popular still because it has a classic camera bag style to it. Nice silhouette with a zipper closure. It's carefree. It's easy for every day. It's got a crossbody strap with a nice little tassel. And here's the inside. So I get it. I get it. But it is $1,390 retail. So here is a much more affordable alternative from Madewell, a classic camera bag style, just like the Gucci. And it's got a little pocket on the outside. It has a removable and adjustable strap. It looks very comfortable. It's got that one inch width to it. And it makes it more versatile, right? Because you can take it off and interchange it and put on different straps like a leather one, like this one, or even a chain strap. And it looks very lightweight. The reason why I'm recommending Madewell is because I do own one of their bags and it is vegetable tan leather and it patinas so beautifully over time and I found it to be quite durable. The size, this is the small one, it will fit all of your daily essentials and yeah, here's the price difference once again. All right, we did it. We got through all 10 popular designer handbags and there are much more affordable alternatives. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have been sitting here for about two hours now, although the video will probably only be about 20 minutes. Uh, my legs are falling asleep. Um, yeah, I'm getting numb. So I'm glad this video has made it to its end. I hope it was enjoyable to watch and helpful. I will link all the affordable alternatives down below in my description box. If you happen to use my link, I may receive a small affiliate commission and it's at at no cost to you. It's just a way to support my channel and support me in doing this kind of research and making this type of content. So I would highly appreciate it if you do purchase something that you try to use my links. Of course, you don't have to, but it would be appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.